Republicans and Democrats are each holding their own parties tonight, but they won't look like they have in the past. Esme Murphy joins us live from DFL headquarters in St. Paul. Uh, Esme looks different there this year. It really does, Frank. Well, we'll pan over and take a look at some of the technical people that are here. There are a lot of reporters here, but no people. And people is what these political events are always all about. Of course, it's all because of COVID-19. The people who are here now are the party leaders and party staffers who have worked for the past four years to make sure this election goes their way in a big way. The DFL says it believes at least 65% of the early vote is going to Democrats, and they think a good percentage of the voting today will break their way. Overall, again, when you put in the, both the early vote, but also election day, we're seeing, um, you know, in, in some places of the state, uh, you know, really long lines and other uh, parts of the state, uh, you know, pretty normal election day activity. It, it does seem like we're going uh, to see record high turnout in this state. Now, the record high turnout was set back in 2008 when Barack Obama, then a candidate, ran for president. The all-time record, that's the modern-day record, the all-time record was set back in the 1950s of 83 percent. It is possible we could break into the 80s in terms of percent here. Democrats here cautiously optimistic, but they are also, frankly, very nervous. They all remember what happened in 2016 when Donald Trump almost won Minnesota and did win the presidency. Right. All right, Esme, live at DFL headquarters. Thank you. We'll check with you later tonight. Uh, meanwhile, Minnesota Republicans are gathering at a hotel in Bloomington this evening, and our Jeff Wagner is going to cover that. Hi, Jeff. Yeah, good evening, Frank. We're here at the uh, Doubletree in Bloomington, which is the typical watch party location for the Minnesota GOP. But with the pandemic, as Esme said, too, obviously things have changed here. In 2018, this main ballroom was filled with 800 people. Tonight, only 250. And because of those res that restriction limit, the GOP was actually reserved separate ballrooms for that overflow of attendees. They'll have video screens in there so they can see who's speaking on the stage tonight at the podium. And also, many Republican candidates for those congressional seats and for the U.S. Senate will be here both in person and virtually. And then we have a nice feature tonight where we can Skype in or Zoom in the candidates from Minnesota 1, 7, and 8 um, once their races are called so they can talk to everybody throughout the night and they can see them up on the screens. There are several races here in Minnesota that could greatly imp impact the balance of power, whether that be in Congress, in Washington, or the Minnesota State Legislature. So coming up at 6 o'clock tonight, we'll talk about those key races that the people in this room will be watching. Good. Look forward to it, Jeff. Thank you.